Hey guys, Bill from Competition Cars. Super excited to go over this 1989 Chevy Beretta GTU 18,000 mile V6 five speed car. Really, really incredible find. Super excited to have found it. Um, this car seems to be getting a lot of love right now and we're in a trailer, a lot of good commentary. So we're gonna do the engine bay, interior, um, and then the trunk. And I'll go over some of the service records and paperwork that I have. And then we'll do the exterior walk around in just a second. But a beautiful, beautiful car, very well preserved. I was very fortunate enough to find it. This is not a car you'd normally see uh, that's been saved or preserved with these kind of miles, especially with this type of equipment. Come around to the uh, driver's side, Chris. Let's go to the interior. Somebody made a comment. I, I, I disclosed in Marine Trailer, the only two things this car needs is the dash. These dashes were terrible for flipping up and curling. This one is not nearly as bad as some of I've seen. It's actually minimal. And I think what saved it is Someone had, previous owner had tinted this lower windshield to keep the heat off of it, so it helped preserve that dash, actually. So I'm gonna leave it alone. It looks pretty cool, pretty period correct. We were all smoking our windows out and doing that. I did that on my Audi years ago, did the double tint. So you got that going on. And then the headliner's drooping, and someone's like, well, why don't you just fix the headliner? Well, I'm in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. There's not a lot of good talent here. There's one place that I that's qualified to do this headliner, and they're backed up. They were about eight cars back, so I didn't want to wait. Not a big deal, it's a headliner. A couple hundred bucks will straighten it out. Carpets, seats, door panels, all that stuff is in impeccable condition. Looks really good. Car looks exactly like an 18,000 mile car should look. Pop up sunroof, coming around to the back. I made a comment to somebody that has the, uh, the JC Whitney starter kit, the headlight, tinted headlight covers, which I st actually stuck back on the car, which look good. It's got the tinted, uh, rear windshield spoiler and the GTU little uh, seat belt. What do you call those things? Little seat belt covers. <clears throat> Here's the original window sticker. Now this car has no reserve, but I suspect it's worth a good bit more than the original window sticker. I mean, where do you find this car? It's impossible, especially with that five speed. This, this is a serious collector car, super fun to drive. Someone asked me about the air conditioning. Yes, the air conditioning blows cold. There's a series of service receipts. And I think there's actually a receipt in here where the air was redone a few years back and there's plenty of oil change receipts. Then this is a larger receipt where they did belts. Uh, here was the air, con oh, here, here we go, right here. So in 2020, the a AC was redone. Oh, actually in 21, nine of 21. New compressor, remove and replace AC compressor, evac, recharge, oil change, fluid change. So there's some money spent there. And you can tell whoever had it kept it nice. Got the original Beretta cassette from Chevy, still on the wrapper. Try finding one of those on eBay. Owner's manuals, warranty booklet guides, guides for the warranty booklets. And then also the tent, window tent has a, I think I saw it has a lifetime warranty on the window tent, so that all that stuff's in there as well. All the rubber is soft and supple and clean and perfect. Coming around the passenger side. Look at the carpets and the mats. There's no stains, there's nothing. I mean, the car's just in the wrapper new. So I suspect this car does very well. Again, you know, the GTU was only made in 88 and 89. It's got that Dale Earnhardt Intimidator look. I know that NASCAR didn't race Berettas. Well, I think I might have, maybe the IROC. They might have had Berettas for IROC cars at one time, but it just got that look. It's got that with the body kit and all that stuff on it and everything blacked out. It looks really cool. So we're gonna go ahead and do the, uh, the uh, exterior walk around in just a moment. We're gonna wrap this one up and we'll uh, go around the outside of the car as well. Thanks guys.